Okay, well, I learned about a pool party that happened the August, I think, around August, uh, before the murders took place. And I asked you guys to give me questions. I looked for questions in the comments from, like, even previous videos, and I wrote them all down. So, let's try to get to the bottom of it. I, honestly, though, it seems like it's kind of a mystery who was even there. But, okay, let's see what we can get from this party. First, let's ask, um, what was the purpose of this infamous pool party? Where perhaps BK met the uh, victims, some of the victims, perhaps the, the two BKs met. Please show us the purpose of this party. I mean, was it just to have a good time? A bunch of people getting together to meet and mingle? Or were there other reasons for this party? What was the true intent and purpose of this party? This pool party. What was the true intent of this pool party? Okay. Well, the card that flipped is the Three of Cups, but it came out sideways. The Three of Cups, remember, look, it's partying. It's having a good time. So it does seem like that was the intent. And it came out sideways. So when the Three of Cups is reversed, it's about um, three's a crowd, the party's over. Things aren't, things, the party took a bad turn. But yeah, this is about friendship having a good time so i mean that did that is the card that fell out let's see what we get here ace of pentacles in reverse eight of wands the magician reversed the page of cups nine of pentacles reversed let's see what's under here Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, we got a tower moment here. Interesting. The Magician is with the Ace of Cups. Okay, Page of Cups is the Ten of I'll show you guys as I go along. We'll do this maybe faster. Now I got to look at this next one because I saw the bottom one. Hmm. All right. Let me, let, give me a second. Let me look at this thing. Weird that there's a tower moment here. Okay, this is what's standing out to me right away. In the middle of the spread, we have, so asking about the true intent, we have the magician in reverse. The magician is the guy that's got all the tools at his disposal. So he'd be like the the party planner, maybe the guy with the pool, maybe the guy with all the booze, maybe the guy with all the drugs. You know, he's the he's the guy. Maybe he's the guy that knows the DJ or something. Who knows? Maybe he's the guy that paid for the party. But he comes out in reverse, so it means it's like if he came out like this, it'd be oh, the party planner. He made it happen. He, it's manifesting something, creating something. When it comes out in reverse, it's creating something, but in a manipulative way. You're, you're manipulating something instead of manifesting. Then we have the Ace of Cups um, underneath that card, which is a cup of love. It's an offering of love and friendship. So, like, weirdly here, we have this manipulation of an offer of friendship. So... Let's look at the manipulation part. Well, on both sides of the magician, up here, on either side of the magician, well, on one side, we have the page of cups, which it's a, a, a page is a message, is a messenger, like it could be a message, like a silly message, a stupid message to this, here, these are our five cards on the top. So it could be, you know, like that his manipulation here was to send a silly message with a page of cups as a messenger. And look, it's uh, a bag with a fish in it. It's just an immature, mm, silly thing. Uh, a page could also be a child, like freshman or just immature uh, person, immature child. 
Eh, probably like 18 though and under. So I would say it's more of a message, an immature message to a nine of pentacles in reverse. This is a single woman who has it all materialistically. She, When she comes out in reverse, she still appreciates the finer things in life, but she might be down on her luck a little bit or just starting out kind of. Um, so it's kind of like some creepy, sending some kind of creepy message to to uh, a single, to, to a girl. That seems like whoever, is it a guy that threw this party? Seems like that kind of guy. Then on the other side of the magician, we have the eight of wands, which is fast messages. And they're going this way. See how they, I don't know. I, I always look at that. Like the arrows are pointing this way in this card. So it's either fast motion, but a lot of times it's uh, DMs, messages, like, you know, incoming fast messages. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's an interesting card because the Ace of Pentacles upright is like this major opportunity for like knowledge, to make money, a business opportunity, a new job. Just it's something tangible that you can hold. Here it's a loss. So I don't know. Like, what you know, what are they losing here? They're losing something quick. Maybe this money costs a whole lot of money, you know, quick. But something, and then underneath... You know, to explain what this something of value is here that's getting lost, like with the message that got lost fast or messages about it getting lost fast, is the Nine of Cups. This, you, okay, this is, this picture is strange. Usually this card is about uh, kind of gluttony. Nine of Cups is having it all and still wanting more. Like this guy's got all kind of jugs, right? But he still has got to make another jug. Because it's just, just not, there's just, ne it's never enough. It's about your wish fulfillment you know, maybe this is his retirement goal and he's just loves making the jugs, but you know what I'm saying. So it comes out in reverse. So you're not getting your wish fulfillment here. Like, so whatever they wanted to have happen here didn't happen. How it started off didn't start, like that's the beginning, right? How it started off didn't start off right. This message is, is where it went wrong here. This fast motion movement. So we'll ask about that is how this party went wrong. Fast movement. All right, offer of love, this message he sent to this girl was kind of, okay, Ten of Swords is, remember, it's it's betrayal. So it's a, a person that this, whoever this guy that threw the pool party, you guys will know who it is. It's some chick that he's betrayed before, okay? He sent her this message to, it was kind of almost like, an, either it was a self-sabotaging move and he didn't realize it, but his intention was to... Um, to get this girl there, to, to lure the girl there. That was one of his intentions, to start something here with the page of wands. That's striking a match to light a fire. Um, also, then I was interested, because I'm like thinking nefarious. This is about stealing someone, or like, you know, lying to somebody, um, stealing from somebody, just being a criminal moves, snake moves, asshole moves, right? And then it's underneath the four swords. This is about uh, somebody resting, okay? Like taking a break, taking a breather, a well-deserved break, you know, chilling out, resting. So it's almost like somebody's, like this chick tried to take a break from him and nope, I'm going to take that opportunity away from you because you're about to get invited to a party. Let's find out over here. This is what I want to know. That's what I think. We'll keep them over here. This is what I want to know right here. What is going on with this tower moment and this eight of wands fast movement manipulation? Mm -hmm. Let's ask this deck. All right. Uh, let's go for this eight of wands tower moment. What, what happened there? Fast motion. God, I hope the long guys don't come right now. Fast motion tower moment. All right, we got a whole spiel. Well, two came out by themselves. So, ooh, look who it is. Look who it is. It's the emperor. It doesn't have to be the emperor, but it means this is the boss man here. Or it's somebody's dad, okay? What's the other cards next to it? Death, the ending of something. The ending of the party. That's what it is. The party came to an end because somebody's dad. Let's get the story. Um, nine of swords in reverse. This is a whole lot of talk here. Keeping someone up at night. Maybe... I don't know, like the owner, the landlord, something like that. You know, the the boss man, the guy that's got control. Her, her, uh, 
knew about these pool parties, maybe. Knew about this pool, what this guy had going on with the pool parties. And he didn't like it. So he was going to put an end to it. He's using, not brute force, it doesn't have to be brute force here with strength. It could just be using his power, you know. Two of Cups, that's about friendship. It's about striking a deal, making a pact. Um, so he made a pact here, but the pact was illegal. It wasn't a fair, justice in reverse, it, meaning not unbalanced. An unbalanced relationship here, an unbalanced deal or pact. What's the next card? Seven of Cups, that's having a whole lot of options. Seven of Cups is a card about having a whole lot of options. Things aren't what they seem. It's really confusing. You got to make a decision. But, you know, it's also about gaslighting. It's about making things confusing on purpose. Um, it's also the card of drugs. So, what the hell? Here, I mean, I, I know that the, you guys will know the story of uh, this pool party. So I'll ask one more thing. Uh, what was the illegal thing here? Will you show me the justice card, please? Clear. Jeez. Okay. Thank you. Er, here's the first card. Actually, the first card is the ace of swords. I mean, you could take this how you want to, but basically it's an, it's a bad idea. It's a lie. Ace of swords in reverse. This is an idea. Something said, but in this card, it's something thought. So it's like a bad idea or a lie something something a harsh word spoken but remember you know like when we're talking about the idaho for the actual crimes that's the crime temperance okay so this is about waiting about so we asked what is the injustice here what's going on with this injustice it's about waiting a balance um like a member, like the bartender, like mixing something perfectly. Two things mixing together. Two opposites coming together in a perfect, like oil and vinegar. Shaking up oil and vinegar. That for, for that split second, everything's good. It's about waiting, having patience to win. Having an idea to wait. Play the long game here to win. About lovers. Something said about lovers. All right. That brings us into, so let, hopefully that makes sense to you, but that brings me into the next questions that you guys want to know. So, um, let's see. I mean, we don't even know if Maddie was at that party. Let's see what we can, what we can get here. What else do I have written down for you? I didn't even bring them in here. Well, I'll remember some. All right, let me think. Let's figure out. Now, I mean, there's rumors about cheating. Like, so now that that lover's card came out. But yeah, it looks like somebody put an end to it. Um, let's ask about both BKs, right? Uh, there's stuff like that. I don't, I'm not sure if both, if one or both or none of the BKs were there. But let's ask. Actually, no, I'm like, I'm here. I want to use another deck for the BKs. Let's ask about the girls, the, the victims, the girls. Maddie and Kaylee. Let's ask about Maddie and Kaylee. What were their experiences having to do with this party? We should get the answer to a lot of your questions that way. What were their experiences? So Maddie, five cards, Kaylee, five cards. Please show us their experience related to this infamous pool party. What was, what did I say, Maddie first? We'll do Maddie first. Maddie, then Kaylee. What was Maddie's experience at this pool party? And Kaylee's experience, just related to the pool party. Please show us their energies, their experience. How did this pool party affect them? And the biggest way that this pool party affected Maddie and Kaylee. All right, the biggest way. Maddie and Kaylee. How did this pool party affect them? Oh, I gotta ask if the killer was there. Okay, I can't forget about that. Okay, Ace of Wands. Well, that's the card. The Ace of Wands is about growth. It's about like, you know, you're, you go somewhere and you're thinking, 
if okay if it came if this card came up like this i'd think oh, okay if this is an opportunity for them to go meet people to you know uh make their relationships better make stronger relationships make stronger bonds at this party but it came out in reverse so like did they not go i don't know or something went wrong there was no growth definitely that's what it was there was no growth so let's look at maddie's cards she has the fool in reverse so not her first rodeo um next to the nine of cups wish fulfillment here being gluttonous being greedy Ooh, look at the who's in the middle for maddie the king of wands that's the big D energy, you know, our cast, our, our guy that, that our smooth guy, ace of swords in reverse, a lie about that smooth guy and the king of swords in reverse. Now this could also, that's why we got to ask who is there, right? Cause this, this is the card that comes up for our killer. This is the card that comes up for the actual event all the time every single reading check it out if you haven't already and like and subscribe because honest to god it helps me so much guys like it really does like it's crazy just one like one subscribe it honestly really helps so i appreciate it and i appreciate all your help with these questions and teaching me because it's fun doing this together anyhow all right team so first five cards for maddie under okay yeah, there was definitely a fight here. Maddie found out something, okay? This guy lied to her for sure. This guy, sexual, I'm feeling here, charismatic guy, all the girls want to be with him. She, Maddie's pissed. She is, she's furious about this. She found out a lie. And it wasn't the first time, unfortunately. The Fool is, is starting out fresh, rose-colored glasses, you don't even, like, you don't even care that the cliff is there because it's like a trust fall situation. You know that, you know, you'll just float down. You don't care that this dog is, is warning you. You're packing light. It's a good time. Now, when it comes out in reverse, it shows being naive and it also talks about um, not, it's not being the first time. So she had this wish, right? Or like being greedy. This, this, no, it's this guy in the middle. He was... He was greedy. And the King of Wands is like a sexual sometimes, you know? Like he's definitely the sexiest guy. And we got Ace of Wands here. So for Matt, like Matt Wands down. So for Maddie's side, I would say she got the fool. And it wasn't her first rodeo here. This guy wanted his cake and eating it too. He lied about it. And it turned out being like a super negative thing here. All right, Kaylee. Kaylee got, so here, we'll put Maddie's cards here. Kaylee got uh, the Six of Cups in reverse. Kaylee got the Hangman. Ooh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody getting caught with their pants on the ground and their mask off. The Six of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. What the hell happened here? To both of them? Check this out. The Six of Cups is about uh, childhood, right? It's about memories, um, nostalgia, thinking back. Someone you've known for a long time, your whole life pretty much. But for them, remember, oh, your whole life isn't all that long. Like, could be a couple years. That That's the confusing part is they're like right at this cusp of a weird age. Anyhow, when the Six of Cups is reversed, which it was, it means this is a memory you don't want to go back to. Kaylee, hanged man. This guy is not in an uncomfortable position. He's there on purpose. And it's to like, you know, look at things from a new perspective. Like if you look at something from hanging upside down, everything looks different. So it's about trying to, she doesn't want to go back to something here. But it has to do with this party. Seven of swords. This is the criminal member, like lying, stealing, the cheating thing, like the last time. Someone getting caught, though. When it comes out in reverse, mask off, this person's caught. It's a person that's supposed to be friends with you. Six of Pentacles is an even exchange, giving and taking. But when it comes out in reverse, which it did, so it's a taking here. It's either a giving or a taking. I'm going to go with taking because of the Seven of Swords. And then look who we have here. The Queen of Wands in reverse. It's usually our Dylan card. The Queen of Wands is another sexual person, charismatic, a female energy. 
Everybody likes her. Same as the King of Wands. Everybody wants to be with her. She's reversed. Um, usually it could be... It, to, this is my other woman. She comes out as my other woman card. So I'm going with that. Or a woman that totally lost her temper. So that's Kaylee's cards. Now the ones that they have in common at the end is Five of Wands. There was conflict. There was chaos. That party had conflict and chaos for the both of them. They weren't getting any rest here. This is rest. They weren't getting any rest. They just, it was all kinds of chaos. Two things coming together, two opposites attracting here. It had, it was about timing, timing, something with timing too. Huh. I wonder like, it, what you know, what kind of, I don't know. I wonder a lot. Okay. Let's ask about the killer. So it look, almost looks like both of them found out crappy things. Or maybe one was mad about the other. Okay. Um, Let's grab this deck. Okay, was the killer at this party? Please show us. Was the killer at this pool party? The people, that's too soon. The people responsible. Or person or people, persons responsible for killing Maddie Kaylee. Xana and Ethan, were they at this pool party? This one wants out. Were they at this pool party? Whoever is responsible for their murders, physically responsible, were they at this pool party? Okay, the one that fell out is Page of Swords, gathering information here. Gathering information, words, listening. Someone had their ear to the ground at that party. Oops. Okay. Tapping into the party here. Friends. Friends. Three of Cups. Friends. Party. So they're friends. Oh. Also, remember the Seven of Swords. The criminal. The friend that stabbed you in the back was there. Gathering information. This is our victim card. Maddie and Kaylee. The lovers, Ethan and Xana, no way. And the Knight of Cups, our lover boy. The Knight of Cups is a young male energy coming with a proposal, an invitation, a gift of love and friendship. Wow, what's the under, the, okay, trying to squ squash the beef. The killer was there trying to squash the beef. Whoa, wow, that's crazy. Okay, holy shit. Okay, let's ask about B, uh, the BKs. Remember, because I don't want to, like, yes or no questions are weird with tarot. So let's just go with their, how it affects, how this party, just like with Kaylee and Maddie, we'll do um, Koberger, Kopaka, the Bryans, the BKs. How did this pool party affect them majorly, if it did at all? I mean, you know, we could get the Four of Cups, which is like, eh, no big deal, sleeping. Please show us how this pool party, infamous pool party, affected five cards each. BK, Brian Koberger, and then the other BK, um, Brent Kopaka. How did this pool party affect affect them please show us their energies with this pool party well i don't know if they were there either how'd it go here five cards each bk well Kohlberger. they know who i'm thinking of Kohlberger justice card Le that, that's about legal stuff about uh the balancing of scales but usually it's about court it's about uh law enforcement okay Gosh, these cards won't stop flipping. Okay, please, five cards each. Kohlberger, Kohlberger, Kohlberger. I can't even imagine Kohlberger at a pool party. Kohlberger. One more, and it will okay. God, 
gosh, they're jumping everywhere. All right, there. Okay, well, they stayed in a chaotic situation. This is leaving chaos or traveling. It, they were staying put or they staying, this is also about leaving a chaos, like leaving choppy waters for calm waters. Leaving a chaotic situation for a calm situation. Came out in reverse, so it's like staying in the chaos or no travels, so like the staying put. All right, uh, Koberger got the victim card. Wow, Maddie and Kaylee. So I would say that they were there, watching them, gathering information, listening to them, watching them. Balancing two different things, two of pentacles. Two, having something, something's up in the air here with Kopaka. Or I mean, I'm sorry, with uh, BK, Kohlberger. Koberger. Something's up in the air with him. And well, he's partying, friends, partying. He's having a good time then. But he's got something in his mind here with the Seven of Swords. Trying to be a friend, but he's looking the other way here, trying to get away with something. Trying to get away with something. Hmm. Here, I gotta ask. Of course I gotta ask. What was BK thinking about here at this pool party? Why are we getting this card? Okay. First card that flipped, I think, is the death in reverse. So the ending of something. Also hiding something with the sun in reverse. That's illumination onto something in reverse. It's hiding. Hiding the true nature of something. Then the king of pentacles reverse came out. That's about, remember, we get him a lot. He's a business owner. He's well respected. He could be a business owner. He could be a uh, a landowner. You know what I mean. Either way, he's respected. But when he comes out in reverse like this, it's the guy that drives a fancy car that doesn't have any get money for gas, right? That's the King of Pentacles. But still, people look up to him. He could be an older guy coming in with this Knight of Cups, this lover boy energy, this proposal, proposition of love. Weird. Ending. I mean, I could go on forever, but okay. So he was trying to get away with something here, having to do with either Maddie or Kaylee. He was gathering information about them, but he had two things going on. The other one was, you know, he was trying to have a good time at a party, but also trying to get away with something with that King of Pentacles, dressing up some kind of invitation. But yeah, he was watching them girls, or that's when he noticed those girls for sure. Huh. All right. Um. Let's see what... Uh, Kopaka is so BK Kopaka. Well, he got okay, five of pentacles reverse, the emperor, the hermit, ten of swords reversed, ace of swords. Wow. Well, the five of pentacles is about being on the outside looking in, illness, poverty, losing, you know, uh. Just you're in a, you're in a shitty spot here. You're losing money. You could be losing your uh, you know like I said you're on your outside looking in here though you're kind of you got a little bit of hope. You're weaseling your way back in. Then we have the emperor, which is like main it's father figure. It's major arcana. It's about doing the right thing. It's about the boss, the guy who he's the shot caller. He's the king of kings, like literally the king of kings. He's the top dog. Um, he calls the shots. So somebody's calling the shots about whether BK or whether Kopaka stays or goes here. The hermit card, which is about, so he's, he stays at home. This is about being at home. I don't know if he was a Virgo, but it's about like going deep, deep within and thinking about something like going within yourself though, not thinking about something, thinking about yourself. To, to make yourself better, self-improvement, like and becoming enlightened. Because he had been stabbed in the back, betrayed, with ten swords in the back. Ten different ways, the ultimate betrayal. He was at his rock bottom, and he was trying to come up here. He was trying to work his way out of the rock bottom. So it could be a father figure here trying to help him get out of the this darkness. He was in a really dark place. Somebody had an idea here. For maybe an idea for him to go to that party. But it was still chaotic for him because it was a really dark place. 
Huh. Interesting cards, huh? Now, the thing that both of them had in common is, let's see, Page of Cups in reverse. I don't know how many cards I want to take, but Page of Cups, you know, it's something that's upside down, literally. It's backwards. Um, it's childish. It's foolish. And when it comes up upside down, it's something that you don't want. So it's something that looks fun, but really isn't like a pool party, right? Especially if you don't want to go. Then we have this woman speaking truth, a female energy speaking her truth or an ice queen having to do with the home, maybe the home where it occurred, something like that. Somebody's saying it loud and proud here about a home. There was a, all kind of regrets that left somebody in a mental imprisonment. I don't know. That's how it affected them. I can't really think of any other quite Well, let me think. Yeah, I will. Sure, I can think of another question. Was there any uh, trafficking going on at this party? Cut to the chase. Hope you stick around till the end. <laughs> Hang on, was there any trap? Was there any actual... Or no, what was the plans? Yeah, okay. Was there any actual you-know-what going on? Like, was that the plan here with any of these girls at this pool party? Any of them? Were there any plans to take a girl from this pool party? Was there, so not even that T word. Was there any plans to kidnap a girl, take a girl? Now, I'm not going to say against her will because you know what I mean. Was there any plans to take a girl from this pool party? The one that fell is the Queen of Cups in reverse. A girl who's had too much. Codependent. She's had too much alcohol, too much drugs. All right, now I gotta kind of change my question. Put it back upright. Um. Okay, besides for like just, you know, like besides for like a sexual purpose, right? Please show me, no, just please show me the most nefarious thing that had to go, that had to deal with this party. What was the most nefarious thing about this pool party? The worst possible thing that ha that had, that happened at this pool party. Please show me the worst thing that happened at the pool party. Party was over. Three's a crowd. Uh, the star, directions, illumination, uh, healing, hope, wishing on a star, a period of rest, ten, ultimate betrayal, ten swords to the back. Somebody found out something. Party's over. Three's a crowd. I honestly think that was the worst. Lies, ace of swords, an ideal gone wrong, lies. And um, Eight of Cups. This is about walking away from the pool, right? Walking away, cups, water. But in reverse, it's, ha it's staying in a situation that you know you, should, you shouldn't be in. Having one foot in or one foot out, it could mean that too. So the party's over. I don't see any kind of, well, look at the bottom. This is about um, quitting. This is your work card, doing the same thing over and over and over again. This is about doing something out of the ordinary, but uh, it could be about quitting too, like quitting the party, party's over. This period of rest, sex, night of wands, this, or it's just, you know, a guy acting out, like be doing the most, you know? So it was time for him to go to bed, you know, time to go to bed, buddy. The ultimate betrayal did have to do with the lovers here. Um, this idea, this lie was about waiting for something, like plans in action. And should I stay or should I go? Well, look, look at here. Look what he's holding in his hand. Like it's an, you know, it's an opportunity for growth, but like growth of what? You see what I'm saying? Like it's a phallic symbol. So that's my reading. I hope you guys like it. See you in the comments. Bye.